the news for Gears 5 going into the next generation continues to evolve. What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you all for stopping by, thank you all for watching. If you're new to this channel and you wanna stay up to date on everything for the next generation, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. I'll be getting all the next gen consoles on day one and I'll be making tons of videos on those, but for now, let's get into this. So Gears 5 is a game that has been talked a lot about going into the next generation for the Series X and the Series S. It is getting tons of graphical upgrades, frame rate upgrades and latency reduction so you have a better overall smooth experience when playing Gears 5. And now we've got some more information of new content coming to Gears 5 that's going to drop with the Xbox Series X and S. So starting off here, the Gears 5 campaign is now going to have new game plus, and this is what we're going to get. So you're going to get two new difficulty modes, Iron Man and Inconceivable, character skins for Kate, Dell, and JD, weapon skins, jack upgrades carryover, mutators for big head mode, etc. new achievements. Now when talking about the new difficulty modes, Iron Man and Inconceivable, so Inconceivable is going to be a level of difficulty higher than and the highest one right now, which I think is insane on Gears 5. And then Iron Man is basically just going to be going through the campaign, trying not to die. So basically you don't want to die at all while playing it and seeing how long you can live. Zoe Kruno, who is a principal lead producer of Gears 5 says, if you're familiar with that in games like XCOM, which maybe is the best example where you don't want to die ever, you're trying to play through with one life. That's really challenging. And that's where bringing over your OP Jack is going to help you get through that or certainly playing through co-op if you're both in Iron Man. That would be really fun thing to challenge as well so we certainly love the couch co-op challenges for gears i mean that stuff's all cool the iron man thing i'll probably try out and see how long i can last without dying or how many deaths i'll get going through the campaign and then the big skin is you're going to be able to swap out marcus phoenix and you're going to be able to play as batista now and i know batista is pretty cool using him in multiplayer mode in gears 5 i usually like to use him as the skin or just a fun character to have and to play as in the game now in terms of operation 5 for versus there's also going to be some big changes so saying here what we've really done here is try to make a lot of game modes more accessible not only only for people coming back but also for the people that are new to the game we've done things like separation of characters and classes which were funny when we first launched the game the certain characters were tied to certain classes which was a really cool system for us and there were a lot of people that really liked that system but if we thought about how we want to kind of move forward just giving players more choice was one of the key things giving the players the choice to choose which class they want to apply to which character is i think really powerful now me personally i was like okay with keeping certain characters in certain classes but now i'm happy that i'm gonna be able to choose anybody when i'm playing online i'm definitely going to jump online again to see what other stuff they bring to the multiplayer they also are saying that they have aspirations to make the operations have stronger themes to tie in any new content or maps together as added bonus for fans of the franchise and they're also committed to developing more maps for each operation which i'm happy to see more maps are better i want to see what other cool places we can play in multiplayer what other cool locations that they give maybe bring back some more retro maps so not only are we getting the visual upgrades we're getting all of that other stuff but the biggest thing here that i wanted to talk about which isn't coming out right on launch but it is going to be coming out later this year and it is gears 5 story dlc so the dlc is coming out in december now all they've really told us is that all i can say is december and the title is hive buster so it might give you a little hint as to what the content might contain That'll be available on the new consoles, so they'll be optimized for those too. So if you remember the squads in Hive Busters basically makes an appearance in the mode escape. They aren't actually in the campaign. And that's Keegan, Lani, and Mac. So we don't really have much information on these characters. We don't really know much about them and their backstory. And I'm guessing that this DLC is going to dive more into that. And we're going to learn more about these three characters. The estimated playtime for this DLC is going to be three to four hours. Kerno said more DLC details, including whether or not it'll cost anything, will be shared in early December. I don't think it's going to cost anything. I'm guessing this DLC is coming free to Game Pass and everyone who has it is going to get it. Just like every other time they've released expansions or add operations to Gears, you get it right with Game Pass. And what else is really interesting is I think this expansion is really going to show off more of the power of the Xbox Series X and S, but particularly the X because they are saying that from a technical standpoint, it is the first gear story reviewed, tuned, and polished on the Series X and Series S during the content's original development rather than upgrades made after. Now that's extremely exciting. That alone has me super hyped to see how this game is going to look in December. And as we know, we're also getting the medium, which is like a survival psychosis horror style game. It's a first party exclusive. So it looks like December is going to be that month where we're going to start to see the first drops and first content for games that are built for the Series X and S 
from the ground up as a starting point. But yeah, I'm very excited about this. I absolutely love Gears of War. I love the franchise. I really enjoyed Gears 5. The multiplayer is a ton of fun, so I'm definitely going to be jumping back in on day one on November 10th when I get my console to see those visual upgrades, to see the new content and just take advantage of all that stuff. And then in December, definitely will be playing that DLC content for the campaign. Anyways, guys, that's just what I think. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think the story is going to be about with the DLC content? Are you excited for the new content that's dropping on day one with the launch of the Xbox Series X? Have you stopped playing Gears 5? And will this maybe convince you to jump back in? I would love to know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you like what you see, hey, maybe consider subscribing to help this channel grow. Thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate all of the support and I'll catch you in the next video.